Then now what I'm thinking of, because we're talking about, you know, what people believe the life is like and stuff like that. Um, what has your, has your relationship, this is something which uh, you know, thoda, it usually is negative, long reaction to this, but you know, I'm hoping it's good for most people. How has your, how has your understanding of this business changed over time? Because you just started like everyone else. You were a new person, right? And then gradually yeah. you learned that things aren't as simple or as easy. And also, yeah. uh, how has your relationship been with your uh, audience or with the pressures of having an audience? So I think it goes both way. Like um, social media is very toxic. Um, but this is something that people don't really understand. But it really is. It could be, a, it could be very toxic for a normal person. And it could also be very toxic for us who basically work on social media yeah. and uh, the relationship is actually both ways. Like sometimes, you know, I, I don't feel good and I, I'm like, I really need to boost up some confidence and I go live on Instagram and it really helps me because there are a lot of people that love me and, you know, that care about me. And I feel like they, like the kind of messages I receive on a daily uh, basis, I just feel like I, I don't deserve it. Like the kind of love that they all give me is something that I probably didn't even do much to get it. and. Um, I mean, I'm really thankful to my audience for that. And obviously, where you have uh, people who love you, you also have haters, people who hate you. Uh, they might be following you from fake accounts or they might be following you from their real ones, mm. most likely fake. Wale <laughs> mm. Lekin, um, there are haters and uh, there is a lot of uh, trauma, let's say mental trauma that you get through social media. I have become really strong as a person uh, because of this career that I've chosen. Uh, because pehle I used to be very weak and I remember I, when I was hosting live shows in Friday, I wasn't that confident. And my boss used to tell me, someone, why don't you just reply to them? Why don't you just answer them? Because they used to talk about my nose, my facial features, my, you know, whatever that, that they could see in this kind of a frame. Yeah. <laughs> and they, could, they yeah. would talk about it. Basically. And I used to get very upset. And I remember I was doing this uh, 23rd March show and I kept my phone after the live. I kept it here and I started crying like crazy. And I cried so much because of the comments that I was receiving and I couldn't stop crying. I called my boss and my boss was like, because uh, I was doing it from home, because if it was a Sunday, you were doing things from home, but you were still working. So I called my boss and she was like, why are you crying? And it's okay. Uh, she said a lot of things. I don't know if I can even say it here, but uh, she was like, man, you got to ignore it. You got to just get over it and you're going to be strong and you're going to be a star and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, yeah. And this year, last year, 2020, I was actually made out, I was, I was a meme on Twitter, on Instagram and Facebook. I was made fun of like crazy. And trust me, I felt bad for like 30 minutes max. And I was over it. Although I was famous, everybody was messaging me. Mm. Hey, oh, someone, did you see this meme about, oh my God, it's so bad. And people were worried about me. People were calling me constantly. I got calls like crazy. And yeah. I was like, yeah, I'm okay. Yeah. And then I, I, I felt bad. I felt bad because I also felt like I was partially responsible for that. But I was okay. I was like, this is a part of it. I'm giving that I'm giving them the right to make fun of me. Because if I'm a public figure, mm. then I can't stop them. They right. will they will be haters. There's going to be people who love me and there's going to be people who probably don't give a give a shit about me. Technically. Mm. Because mm. I'm I'm so there's like all kinds of people and you just have to be you know, you just have to go with it. You just have to go with the flow and probably be very strong to deal with. And that's actually a concern that I'm going to take. Man, uh, my questions relate to me is because a lot of youngsters that are coming in do not have that, that kind of tolerance. And uh, there, there was this girl in India who actually uh, just the suicide be kali last year mm. because of some social media thing that was taking place. So mm. that's also another concern that I have. That I got through this. I got through a lot of trauma because um, at the end of the day, if somebody's making fun of you, chahe mupe banaye, chahe dust messages aayin, ya chahe uh, Twitter pe aap trend kar rahe ho, bhoat bada uh, trauma hai aap ke liye. Aur agar mein uski through thi, to shayad mein, mein to thik ho gai, mujhe kuch nahi hua alhamdulillah, but mein dekhni ho gai, ye koi 5-6 saal chhoti hoti mujhe shayad lakhi. Shayad woh usko itne strongly nahi cha uh, yeah. sakti hoti. Shayad yeah. koi aisa kata hai, jiske bhoat kuch nahi hote supportive. Yeah. So, shayad woh koi aisa kadam utha hota banda ya bandi, jo which would be a loss for the whole society. Yeah. So uh, that's also a concern that I have that you're putting yourself out there on social media where there are 
no laws. I feel there are no laws. You can say whatever you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so it, it, uh, on Twitter, pe abhi the recent most thing, we're recording this uh, a bit, like a few weeks before this will go out. So if you guys are on Twitter or whatever, aajkal ka recent masla wo Islamabad wale kanoli ka chal raha hai, which is the biggest issue in the world. And chalo, theek hai, wo video was, you know, was in bad taste or asa nahi hona chahiye, or Pakistan mein hota hai. But like, ab khatam hi nahi ho raha us pe discussion, ab uske bahar mushaira ho raha hai, aur phir ye ho raha hai, aur phir wo ho raha hai. I mean, how long will it take for somebody to find those women and bas haan, inke ghar pe ja ke, you know, ande phik denge ya... I'm sure wo ladkiyan jo bhi thi unki I know unhone galat kiya jo bhi kiya but they were, I can I did not I be very honest I did not like a single meme or a single post against them because yeah. I have went through the whole trauma that social media puts you through I know what it is like and I yeah. know that they probably went through it yeah and they're probably going through a very bad time right now and chahe unhone out of bad taste kiya ya chahe unhone galti kiya chahe wo hai mean hai wo but yeah. at this point of time, they're probably going through a lot. Yeah. So I know people might hate me for this uh, on the show. But... And also, it's also uh, having been an internet warrior for several years. I learned that internet, you can paragraphs, nobody learns anything from this. So if you think that we're learning them all the and now because of our doing this, they will be better. No, they'll just think you're attacking them and they'll just feel like victimized or bad. If not, worse.